Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present you the best customer service software. So let's start. The first one I prepared for you is a Freshdesk. Freshdesk is a top notch in my opinion because few of these things that I'm going to show you. The first one is automations. On Freshdesk you got auto assign tickets to the right agents and for me this is a huge advantage only because let's say that you're gonna have one agent for uh, info email then you're gonna have another agent for Facebook support and another one for, I don't know, Instagram, right? So this is great. The second thing that I really like is get rid of to-do lists. Automation scans for all your tickets every one hour to check if there is a need for an update or an alert. From following up with the collaborators that you need inputs from, reminding you about pending work to checking on customers, Freshdex automates all redundant work. So this is like, again, great. But the last thing, all full-time monitor for all tickets, a full-time monitor. Automations are constantly on the lookout for updates being made to the tickets. When they come across one, they trigger actions immediately. As examples, they bring customer response to an agent's attention right away, keep customers updated on the progress of their issue. So as you can see, Freshdesk is a top notch in this way. And another thing, what I really like is that Freshdesk is actually cheap. You got $15 agent per month bill annually, or you can go also free with unlimited agents, but it's kind of limited. You don't not going to have automations, collision detection, marketplace apps. You can also start a free trial. You will link down below in the description, knowledge base, ticket trend report, data central location. So you can actually check out the pricing plan, like which one you like the most and which is going to be most useful for you. And yep, so Freshdesk with the ticketing system is a top notch. Also, when you would come here to the dashboard and how it feels to use it, you see the analytics here, then you see the tickets. Refound my order, place a custom order. I simply click on it and it's quite complex, but it's really easy to understand. It's nothing to be afraid to use, right? The next one I prepared for you right behind it is a Zendesk and it's really similar to Freshdex, but in my opinion, it's a little bit more limited and it's more expensive. So you see it here that Get the fundamentals right, deliver support across any channels, all from place, suite team, 49 euro, you can have a free trial per agent per month bill annually. Yes, you got email, voice and live chat support. Uh, Zendesk got something which is called macro, or that you can have auto response, that's also with Freshdesk, but they call, it, they call it macro and it's quite good that you can actually uh, auto response, so you don't have to actually write emails, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you can do. And also what you can do is to keep noted for Keep notes for company. And Zendesk for me is on the same level when we talk about the quality. Freshdesk got more features, uh, but Zendesk is fine and it's more expensive. Uh, but again, you can test both with a free, free trial that if you like one or that one, you can choose it. And then you get like all, also a lot of integrations in Zendesk. And with the same with the automations, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And the third one I prepared for you is a live chat. Live chat is good too, but from these two I showed you already, uh, live chat is the most limited one, in my opinion. Uh, you got starter, small office, home office, $16 for agent bill annually, 60 day chat history, ticketing system, just for the ticketing and what you can actually do with it. Sneak peek, chat decks for the live chat is really great. But this is pretty much it. I mean, they're all good softwares, but I would definitely go with the Freshdesk if you want to go big. Also with the price, how cheap it is. Uh, Freshdesk is a top notch. Zendesk, I really like that you can, you can, it's really easy to actually implement it to your website and you can make it uh, for Facebook too. And they got also for sales as a CRM. So yeah, if you have any questions, guys, I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. I think they're all good. If you're going to choose live chat or Zendesk or Freshdesk, I would go with the Freshdesk based on the price and the features they are going to give you. And the customer support is a top notch. So if you have any questions, they will ask you promptly and solve the problem that you have. And I really like these softwares and I will explain why, because they will save time tremendously. Like when I will make in the future a software or SaaS, I'll definitely go with one of these options only because to have like free custom people and they are solving tickets one by one, you know, uh, in Freshdesk, this is really helpful because imagine that 
you would be solving something on Facebook, then you would be replying on Instagram and then on emails rather than having everything uh, like integrated in one platform, in one tool. That's, that's much, much better. So, and I really think that this is what business is about, that you should actually save your time. I don't know if you are the business owner that wants to add and create fresh desk, but many times I see that plenty of business owners are not focusing actually on uh, generating revenue, but they are focusing all the time on administration stuff. So if I would be you, I would just choose a fresh desk, then go and add your uh, custom people there so who take care of customers. Let's play around with that. And you just work with sales or operations, what you need to do to increase the revenue. That's what you should do. I really believe in that. You shouldn't focus actually on administration because when I see that a business owner is replying on all those emails all the time and he's not concentrating on a business, I don't know if that's the right choice. Then you see those people that are like thinking for 30 minutes about how to write a blog or one hour about how to make an Instagram story. That's not effective. That's not good. It really isn't. And plenty of people are doing that all the time. So yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide me. Goodbye. See ya.